Hello. How is everyone tonight? I just need to get this shared to a couple of pages and I'll be right with you. If I know how to share, let's see if I can share. Um, hey Karen, hey Marilyn, this is Patience. I'm so excited. Um, I found a card on one of my favorite pages and I made it right away and I just had to share it. Um, and I don't know how to share this because I'm not on my phone, so I guess I will have to share it on my other pages later. Let's see. Share. Is it going to let me share here? Um, share. More options. I mean, I really need to get to a tutorial so that I can be able to do this. Let's see. What have y'all been doing today? I've been watching Hallmark movies. Not all day, but most of the day. Okay, I think I got it. It's posting. Okay, are we back? Can you see me? Let me put my coffee out of the way. And um, we'll get started. Oh, Karen, you've been doing laundry. Oh, girl. Come over and do mine. Um, I've got a stack where I get changed every day, and I just left them there. But anyway, let me show you what I got here. Cute card. I love it. It has the Love Santa tag on top. It has gingerbread and peppermint paper on the inside. And it has two different types of stuff inside this little clear envelope to shake and to shake her card. So, oh, Marilyn, I don't know why I'm calling you Marilyn. Susie, Susie's making Halloween treat boxes today. Well, I love this, and if you'll look real closely, you could see the subtle, um, let's see what they're called, subtle shimmer sequins, and there are some red uh, gingerbread and peppermint dots in there. Um, I could not find my everyday sequins. I looked, and I put them up. I guess I hid them from me. Um, got one more place I just thought of. Nope, it's not there. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you what I did. And in order to show you what I did, I have to show you this box. This box is the Love Santa card kit. It is available now. It was advertised in your, um, let's see, what is this? July to December mini. And when it became available, I bought several, so I have some for sale. If you're interested, just email me, let me know. But you have 12 tags that you can make with this kit, and uh, there's coordinating treat bags to go with it. So um, the kit itself is 19, and the bags are seven. So for $26, you are set up. You can make cards with this, you can make treat bags, you can make tags. So, let me show you. This is what the box looks like when you get it. And I'm going to go ahead and open this one to show you what all you get. Um, the other one, I completely depleted everything. So, that's all that's left in there. So, let me put that up to the side. Let me show you how it comes. Here we go. You have your stamps, your stamping spot, and then everything is packaged for you. Let's see if I can get this out. There we go. Packaged for you in this package. And you have a block, you have um, dimensionals, you have everything you need all packaged. Now I'm not going to open this one up because hopefully I can sell that. If not, I will be putting together some more tags. But let me show you the stamps that come with this. You have the Love Santa and a present 
and Mary, and it says Christmas, special delivery, Mary and Bride, and Joy. And there is a pine leaf needles that you can stamp on the tags. But here are the tags that come in there. Aren't these just so cute? And then on the back of the tags, I stamped the two from that also came in this. So, these are just gorgeous. And here are the bags that you can get for seven, get 12 bags for $7. And they match. Here's the Christmas tree. Isn't that cute? And then you have the mistletoe and the pine leaves. Now, the the next two bags, and I just put cardstock in there so you can see what the bags look like. Um, you could put with either one here. So, let me go ahead and get started and show you how to make this cute card. Okay, first of all, you're going to need window sheets. And this is window sheets. Um, this is hard plastic, and it comes 12 by 12 two in a package for five dollars and they're on page 136 of your catalog you can also get this window sheet from let me see if i can find one right quick a stamp set our stamp sets come packaged in this you could certainly use this hard sheet if you wanted to cut that up so, um, I had some window sheets already, so I didn't have to resort to taking something out of a stamp set. But this particular window sheet is cut five and a half by four and a quarter plus a sixteenth. So, that's three sixteenths. Um, maybe. I'll have I'll put the measurements in the in the description later. I'll add it just to make sure. But I made it just a little bit bigger than our card base because I didn't want the sequins to slip out or slip around to the back side of the cardstock. So let's get started. All right. Um, oh yeah, you're also going to need the clear envelope, and it's also on page one thirty six in the catalog. And for $6, you get 50 of these. And this is an envelope that we usually put cards in to keep them clean, to save them. I've got one here that I have put in a clear envelope. This is one that a friend sent me, and I really like it. So I've kept it in a clear envelope. Um, and they seal, but you can unseal them real easy. Let me put that away. Okay. So first of all, what you're gonna do is slide your window sheet inside, okay? And then that fits pretty good, pretty good. I'm thinking I may have a bigger window sheet. Let me see. Um, I think I cut this five and a half by four and a quarter, and it needs to be just a little bit wider than the four, four and a quarter. So here, let me get this sheet. Much better, much better, okay. So, this is going to be the front, and this is where you peel off that. But before you seal anything, you're going to want to put your sequins in here. So, I'm going to open up my acrylic shapes. And I'm going to dump a lot in there, so just be prepared to see a bunch. I'll put those in there. And then, I'm also going to put in my subtle shimmer sequins. Okay, if I can get those in there. Got a little bit of static cling going here. There we go. So I've got quite a bit in there. All right, the next thing you're going to need is some tape. Um, and I mean like tape, scotch tape that you use to close packages. And you're going to close... You're gonna put the tape right across here because you don't want those sequins to come out when you open. So let's put that right there to seal it. 
and I went over a little bit, so I'm going to take my paper snips and cut the edge. Cut that tape off right there. Get that sequin out of the way. It will end up in my kitchen. So what else have you guys been doing tonight or today? Um, I'm afraid I've, I've been a little productive, but mostly productive in cleaning my craft room, look, craft room looking for those other sequins. All right. So the next thing you're going to need is some basic white cardstock. And I actually used thick basic white because I wanted it to um, hold together. So I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I took my paper and I put it in landscape and I'm going to score it at five and a half. So go over here, five and a half, score that. See how that puts a score line on there. I hope y'all can see that. Then I'm gonna cut it at four and a quarter. All right. So let me put this over here. Okay, so now we have this card base. And I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half and score that. Grocery shopping. Well, oh, Karen, I need to do all that. And I guess next time you do stuff like that, tell me to get off my couch and go do that too. <laughs> okay. So now we have to put the front of our card, which is this shaker part, onto here onto our base. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it upside down. This is the bottom of the back, of the card. This is the fold. And usually we open a card like that when we do it this way, but this is gonna be the bottom. So let's put it down at the bottom. I'm gonna put it just like that. Let me put my snips on top of it. Okay, now here is our shaker card. This adhesive release. I'm going to take that off and let me see if I can get, there we go. Make sure I don't have a glare on there. Okay, so I'm going to set this right in front of our card just like this. We want to set it up to make sure we're lining it up there. So we're going to do this and then we're going to fold over the part of the envelope that has the sticky. So, it is like this. All right, see that? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up and you've got three pieces. You, you've got your basic white cardstock and then you have your little shaker envelope. So we're gonna pull this back and I'm gonna take some tear and tape. Let's see, tear and tape, and I'm going to put that right across the bottom, just like so. And I did that because I really want this to stay on here. Okay, let me, if I, I have found that when I do my bone folder, it sticks really well and it helps to get that release part off. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and it's really gonna be attached. Now take your tear and tape and put it along the edges right here. Don't wanna go too far up there. And the edge here and one down the middle for good measure. Okay. Do my bone folder. If y'all have any questions, just pop them in there and I'll try to answer. Okay, there we go. Now, one more piece of tear and tape. And I'm just gonna put that right here. All 
right. Make sure I get that on there really well. I really have found that bone folder helps with removing the tear and tape backing. Okay, so now you're going to take this part of your basic white cardstock and you're going to fold it down on itself. And so you basically just closed up a card. And there we go. I like it. So now it's time to decorate it. So I wanted to use the Christmas tree this time. And here's my Christmas tree tag. But I don't want to use it as a tag. I want it to be part of the card. So I'm going to get my snips and I'm going to trim off this part that has the tag loop on it because we don't want that on there let's see if i can get this there we go throw that away so here's what we have now get some dimensionals and let's go ahead and put this on the front i'm going to put one behind the star and like this now this is gonna look cute by itself like this, but we want to decorate it just a little bit more. So I like that, I think that looks cute, but I want more. So I took a piece of six by six from Tidings of Christmas, and that is in the annual catalog. So it is paper that I've had for a while, and the green in here matches the green here. And that's what Stampin' Up's good for is everything's matching. Hey, Lynn from Louisiana, how are you tonight? Okay, so I'm gonna pull in my trimmer and cut this to five and a half by four and a quarter. So, and five and a half, okay. And I'm going to get my seal, or my adhesive, and I'm going to run that across my card, and I'm going to put this on the inside, but what you'll notice from the inside is that it is going to fit really well, because my card is cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. So, you see that through there. And I just think that looks so cute. Now, I'm also going to take a die cut that I have pre-cut. And this is from the Color and Contours die cut set. I'm not really sure the name of that. But if you need it, I'll get it and I'll post it in the comments. And I'm going to take the stamps from the stamp set that came in this tag kit. I'm going to do Merry Christmas and a present and so i'm going to use evening evergreens one of our new colors one of our in colors i'm going to stamp mary right here then i'm going to do real red with the christmas oops i just stamped that in my green didn't i here we go let's get the green out of the way merry christmas yeah, I'm gonna put that right, let's put it offset. And then I'm going to make some green presents. I want the green back on there, I really like this green. Lynn, what have you been doing today? We have been doing Hallmark movies, laundry, grocery shopping. All right, and so this will be the inside where you will write your little note. Um, and I'll show you how that goes. I'm going to put that in there with my seal. Like this. And there you have it. A cute shaker card that has eye catching on the front, which is the tag that I cut the loop off of. And then it invites you to look inside. So, yay, isn't that cute? This is so fun. I have to give credit to the two people whose names were listed on this card, and that is Patty Bennett, she's a demonstrator, and 
um, Ilda Diaz. So I just love this. Let me show you something else I have made today. Um, you know, I showed you the cards. Here are the cards that we made with the tag kit. You know, all these cards. And if you don't need cards and you need Christmas cards, I mean, if you don't need tags and you need Christmas cards, it is so easy to pop the card, the tag that you made on top of a card. And I did the same thing on the inside here with the die cut. And then I put the tree on here. It says Mary and Bright. And I left a little more in there. Since I had Mary on the, the front, I didn't want to put it on the inside. And then, love Santa. Isn't he so cute? And then I did it this way. And, whoops, I haven't got anything inside there. But I want y'all to look at the car because I didn't make a Christmas card here. I made a birthday card and I've got enjoy your day patience. I've already got a person that I needed a birthday card for. So when I were, was making these, I thought, well, I'll just make this into birthday because this doesn't look all Christmassy traditional colors. So isn't that cute? I just love that. I just love how that is so versatile okay one more thing i got my paper pumpkins in this month i had ordered extra you know i've got to around christmas i want those christmas cards and the kits are the easiest things so here is the kit i haven't even opened it up y'all let's see we get our spot Shaded spruce, and I love shaded spruce. That's what color background card this is. It's shaded spruce. And then here's our stamps. And the stamps say holiday cheer. Um, oh, I don't know what. The, oh, to you and yours. Peaceful Christmas wishes. Merry Christmas. We have trees. This is from our home to yours. Oh, these are so cute. Peaceful Christmas. So, what they're telling you with this is that it goes with a suite of products that we sell in our um, July to December mini catalog. Okay, let me see what we got in here. Red paper. So that we can turn around and make this a gift. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the white. In the shaded spruce envelopes. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to mess it up getting into it. Okay. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we've got some twine and some mini glue dots and some dimensionals. Look at this silver foil envelopes. I love that. Oh my goodness, look inside, it's plaid. Oh, y'all, this is so exciting. I didn't open it on purpose. I wanted to open it with y'all. Oh, and look at these. I love that. And Noel, we got the card bases. Oh, two different kinds of card bases. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm going to have some fun creating with this. I can't wait. And we've got the plaid. Y'all, this is going to be so much fun. And some vellum pieces. Let's see. Oh, look, vellum trees. I don't know if you could see that. Isn't that going to be so pretty? Oh, I'm just going a little Lulu over this. I love it. Oh, and this is for the sentiment, I believe. I haven't found the instructions yet. Here we go. Mmm. I love it. One thing that I have really appreciated Paper Pumpkin about is putting color instructions because I sometimes wait and don't read the instructions. So they took out all the complicated instructions and put pictures. Isn't this so cool? I cannot wait. If you'd like to be on my Christmas card list, just email me your address and I will send you the cutest Christmas card. So anyway, I just wanted to share this easy, easy shaker card 
And this was fun to make, and I am so glad that you guys joined me tonight. And just because it says Christmas doesn't mean it has to be Christmas, because here's Christmas, I mean a birthday card. So, okay, I'm going to be loading this video up onto my website later tonight, and it'll have the links in there. I did include the links, um, how to get to my website and everything, in the description. So, I'm so glad you guys joined me tonight. And um, I hope to see y'all again soon. Bye.